Hi, I'm Sean Cummins, Dairy B500 Programme Advisor covering the South East. When we look at the most profitable calf to beef producers nationally, one common trend things to occur. It's their ability to achieve the target of daily live weight gains for animals. We're on the farm with Peter O'Hanlon here in Kilkenny who's going to undertake his housing weigh today. The weight gains required in calf to beef systems can be broken down into a number of key areas. The first area we'll look at is during the calf rearing period. This is the period from the calf arrives on farm, encompassing the milk feeding period until it's weaned. During this period, weight gains is 0.7 kilos per day are required. Once calves are weaned and turned out to grass, we then focus on the weight gains up to mid-season, which we're aiming for a gain of 0.7 kilos per day. From the mid-season up to housing, which we're looking at today here on Peter O'Hanahan's farm in Kilkenny, we're aiming for a weight gain of 0.7 to 0.8 kilos per day. So depending on the system being operated at farm level, we're aiming to have our weigh-ins coming into the shed at anything from 200 to 240 kilos. The lighter weights I touched on, the 200 kilo weight is generally a later born early maturing calf, especially our early maturing heifers, whereas our heavier weights, so our 230 to 240 kilo weight, would be expected from our Holstein Frisians, which are typically born in the early part of the calving season. It's important that t these target weights are achieved at farm level. Where these weights aren't achieved, it's going to apply unnecessary pressure later down in the system. It's either going to result in a longer finishing period, the production of lighter carcasses, or an increased age of slaughter, all of which has been shown to have negative consequences on the profitability of these systems. Once we have the housing weighing completed, which typically occurs before animals are housed for ease of management when it comes to reading the ear tags on the animals, we then focus on what weight we need those animals to be coming out of the shed. So next spring we're hoping that these animals achieve an average daily weight gain of 0.6 kilos per day. We're aiming for this, this level of weight gain. It's a moderate level of weight gain compared to what the animals could achieve if we really pushed them on concentrates over the winter period. But this level of weight gain ensures that animals can make the best use of compensatory growth when they get out to spring grass next spring. My name is Peter O'Hanrahan. I'm a member of the Dairy Beef 500 group. Um, I operate a calf to beef system here in Thomastown, Kilkenny in a partnership with my father, Thomas. We regularly weigh cattle here to monitor animal performance. We weigh in the spring, mid-season and autumn. We run two systems on the farm here. We operate a 21-month and a 24-month steer system. The weighings here beside us are going to be weighed today before housing and we're aiming for a target weight of 0.7 to 0.8 of gain per day over the grazing season. Given the average age of these animals, we're hoping for an average weight of around 228 kilos. Once the animals are weighed, we'll group them on size and weight for the winter months. Over the winter, we're looking for 0.6 of a kilo gain per day. We plan to turn these back out to grass in early February. Once these animals are turned out after winter, we're aiming for a kilo of live weight gain per day. Once we get to mid-season, we weigh these animals again and we'll group them according to their weights for the 21 and 24 month beef system.